Oh, here we are. We're back. We're back in the PGA Tour career mode. Come on, Mikey. Can't remember how I've been. It's been a few days since I've done one of these. The past couple of videos have got a bit irate, haven't I? Mike. Losing your temper and getting frustrated. So chill out. It's a game. If you hit it wrong, you hit it wrong. Things happen. No more of that. Whatever. Right, come on. Uh, oh, I need to pick a rival again, don't want to now. Because I'm back on day two. Uh, who's the best here? Highest. That's how we've been doing it, isn't it? Yeah, the Deloitte's first. Friday 11th. 35th, 85th. So it's Tony. What are you offering, Tony? I don't get it on my line. I'm locking anyway. Tony Fee now. Right, come on. Where are we? What we're doing? Where are we at? Yeah, so I apologise profusely for my temper in my past few videos. I shall try to contain myself from now on. <laughs> I was trying to rush him, rush through him to. I don't know really. There's no point. Don't know why, but that's what I was doing. Trying to get through them all. There's no rush, Mike. Chill. It's a game of golf. There's no rush. Right here we are. Genesis Scottish Open at the Renaissance Club. Let's have a look at the course details. A normal, a normal, a medium. I could have done that on the next screen, could I? Right, here we go. Ooh, it's a bit slow today. Right, let's go. Normal, normal, medium. I couldn't see. Ooh, we're on high winds. We're on high winds. It's a good one to come back to. Yeah, I've not played this course yet. I've been trying to avoid, if I've been having like the odd round here and there, I've been trying to avoid the the new ones because obviously I'm going to be playing them in career mode, aren't you? So I want to hit it fresh, you know what I mean? I have no preconceptions of it, even though I've seen the odd couple of videos of, well, not all of them, but not all the full rounds that people have done before I got the game, you know what I mean? You know, it's been that long anyway, I can't remember what the course is like. I just remember a broken wall, is it? Don't know. 2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Genesis Scottish Open is about to kick off. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth, and it's a hello to Henny Koyak. Down yeah, I remember the walls and the trees. Hey, Luke and Rich. But apart from that, I don't remember much else. I don't remember if it's a tricky course. I don't remember if it's what the greens are like. I ain't got a clue. But we'll find out. After their exchanges on social media, it'll be even more spicy out here. So that's the final word from Beamer. Let's see how this one goes. Fanny still with me? Come on, Fanny girl. Come on, yep, yep, you're on for it. Right, let's have a look. 14 mile an hour wind. Coming from the right. It's going to be a bit of a pusher. Uh, I'm going to put a bit of this on it. Just to try and... Right, come on, Mikey. Ooh, I might have put a bit too much on that. It's all right. It's a good shot. It's a good start. It's a good start. With their approach shot, Rich. Green sits slightly above the players. Dotting the front left and one just front right. If they do throw it to the left and long, it will come down a pretty good sized slope back onto the center of the green. This could be tricky, this. That slope. Yeah, felt that straight away. <gasps> Oof, thought it was going to end up in one of them pop ball or the pop bunkers. That's what I remember about it. Steep on it. Wow, this is going to run like madness, isn't it? Um, might even be worth trying to get it up here a bit, you know, or maybe. Uh, well, I could just aim over there. Shaping work on these. Never tried it, you know. Give it a go. How far am I away? Am I a bit? Oh, I'm a bit. 
ก็ไมเกิลชอนบาชิโอชอนบาชิโออันนี้เมื่อเที่ยวอะไรสิก้อนน่ารักมากป้าเยซัสโอ้โหคุณสิเนี่ยเอ่อเราอยู่ที่ 134s ดีมีฟันเอ็ดนี่โอ้ยสิ่งที่ดีสิ่งที่ดีเซฟสิ่งที่ดีเซฟ Let's see what the score is like. Six hundred to thirteen. Tommy Fleetwood got a chubby. Look, Tommy lad. I like Tommy. He's a rum card, isn't he, Tommy? Strong par four here, just under five hundred yards. There's a bunker down the left-hand side. You must avoid if you want a clear opening for your second shot. Narrow fairway up there. A good bit of a pull, but it's all right. That's t a r t s creeping lately. The past couple of rounds of either, I don't know why. I don't must be holding it different or something. Right, why is it? Wow, that one was a fairway splitter. I'm gonna trust her. Going with the pitching wedge here. Need to fold it. Hmm. Still counts. Putting for birdie here. The finger, the feet, but it shook me. Come on. Yeah. Look at that, Paul. Come on, Mike. I don't know where that's coming from. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Oh, hey, what's this here now? Yes, Luke. Just about 600 yards or so. Players must hit it out to the left-hand side with their tee shots. Anything right is going to go into a huge cluster of trees where they're going to have all kinds of problems. The tempo there was exquisite. I'll give it to more each other. Uh, just into it light. Makes its way to the first cut. What's the three wood like? Is it worth going with three wood? Uh, not really. A bit fast. Oh, I don't want to do that one at all. You know. Seventy-seven pitch. Go ahead and ride the wind back to this pin. Oh, a bit slow. I don't trust them. I'm going to ignore these then. From what they suggest, get them there. Morning, Mike. No, I'm not morning. Just talking to myself. Okay. Uh, I've got a feeling that's going to be too. I'm going to pull this back a little bit. Right, come on. Come on, don't be shy. Mm, just a bit more. Just needed a bit more there, didn't I? Hmm. Not getting anywhere yet, but oh, I didn't look at the scoreboard again. I'm being too quick with the thumb. Sorry. I don't know what I'm apologising for. Yes, yeah. just around the 415-yard mark. Players who take out driver and drive it up into the narrow section of the fairway will get a really good look with their second shots. Oh, caught up in some oh, I tried to be too tight there. I tried to be too this tight, Mike. Looks to be lush and thick, doesn't it? No, this is like hitting it into a head of cabbage. I mean, it literally is just awful. Um. Uh. Eight. 
up to that 12. Uh, what's that? Got like nine. Off that is. I'm just going to go with this. I don't even know why I'm bothering with that because you don't work out the rough anyway. Yeah, this is lovely. Well, that's beautifully judged. Bit better, isn't it? In bit better. Um, what's happening here now? There's a little bit of movement, but nothing major. Hit it right, should be good. Obviously. That's tracking. That's a clever play, that one. Moving up the leaderboard. Right, finally, got one. So look at the scoreboard now, I'll keep flicking through it. Tommy still on six, Cameron Champ on five, Brooke Henderson on three. Three. The fifth hole reach a really good risk reward short four. You help yourself to my top is funny if you want to. The short par four, but watch out for the green because this green has got all kinds of danger on it. Twist, turns, bobs, weaves, ducks, it's got it all. Oh wow. How the hell was that fast? Oh well. Mm. Wonderfully played. How the hell was that fat? Oh wow. Jesus. What are we looking at for this part, Henny? He's got to be careful this doesn't get away from him here. This is downhill. Uh, it's downhill. I don't want to go past the all air, do I? I don't want to go past the all air, Mike. Oh, that's frustrating. Hmm. The turn watch did it. Four feet. Should make this one. This is what they have left for par here. Hmm. And the first of our short holes here at the Renaissance Club, Rich, is the par 3 6. On 20 foot pitch, Ooh, I don't want to pay. This is a nasty little par 3 dotted by some pot bunkers on the front part Ooh, of it. This is a tricky one, isn't it? Right hand side. Club selection is imperative. Mm, not give it enough, have I? Wow. Uh, that's disappointing. Mm. Wind is absolutely swirling in this part of the golf course. Oh, a five footer. It's amazing how two pros hold these. Solid little par putt here. I've missed that. I knew it as soon as I was pulling it back, I thought. Give it a bit extra, Mike. Okay, now, Mike. This is my thing now when I'm at home. Cough. Mmm, yeah, stupid. That's my fault, that. Well, obviously, it's my fault. I took the shot, but. Mmm, mmm, what have got to play with here? 370. I doubt I'm going to make them. Increase significantly. Give it a bit of that so I don't run out of fair. We that and he's the wind is at the back on this one. Oh lag. This one should find the rough. Fuck. Okay, now, man, I ain't getting out of here, am I? Fucking lag. You know. <laughs> Don't know what to do here. Of 
Come on, hurry up. Right mm. Put it back in play. Is it the right option? No, that's the question. Five shots off the pace. Oh, Mike, come on, mate. Didn't quite get the approach close enough, so a long putt in front of them. Well, that lad killed me there, didn't it? Oh, right in the middle of my stroke again. Richards, we face the aim pole. What kind of decisions do the players face off the tee? Now, look at this lag, man. Why are you? Right in the middle of fairway. So they I honestly don't understand why you get lag in career mode. I really don't. Fairway that cambers pretty significantly from left to right. Oh, this one looks to be heading down the runway. And what's in front of them there, Henny? Gotta make sure to control. 175, 4, For the five iron. Jesus. Well, you didn't work that out right, Mike, did you? Well, definitely the wind had to have gotten a hold of that one. Yeah, you'd think so, wouldn't you? Ooh. That hit the pit, it might have gone in that, you know. Hey. Up, could be in. Oh. Well, the good thing about making bogeys is it gives you a chance to bounce back at the next. <sighs> Deary me, dearie me, three on the trot. Sitting at a couple over for the event. The ninth is a strong par three, rich one of the longer ones. <sighs> It is. There's some bunkers on the right-hand side that you absolutely must avoid. If you miss it on the left-hand side, however, you've got a pitch uphill to a green that will slope away from you. A par here is a really good score. This would be a great up and down. Of a surgeon, lovely touch, such soft hands. Mm. And as we turn for home, Rich, always a good chance to reflect on the halfway stage of this round. Well, look, this rivalry we have been watching has been fun. This player is behind their rival as we make the turn, and it'll be fun to see how this matchup shakes out. Do 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 skip to me loo 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 skip to me loo skip to me loo Macari It looks like he's thinking about going for the green here Oh, into that bank. See it there, pitch into that bank. Never mind, it's there, isn't it? Suppose. It's not, a, it's not a bad chance, is it? Right, uh, it's moving there and it goes whoosh right at the, right the hole. Right, come on. You had some good uh, eagles last night, Mike. Come on. Steady now. Good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. Well, that wasn't a good eagle, was it? 
Oh, come on, Mike. Putting for a par now. Well, what a shame. A free putt for par there. Jesus. Shots back after that hole. Which I know this next hole is one of your favourites, the 11th here at the Renaissance Club. This is one of the coolest holes I've ever played, Luke. It's a dog leg from left to right. Fairly generous teeing area. Don't I never hit it fast. Right Why am I suddenly hitting it fast, Mike? The screen. This could be the coolest green I've oh, ever seen. Sake. It's got more movement than any other green I've seen in competition. I absolutely love this hole. Why am I suddenly hitting it fast? Find the fairway. Not sure if that's how they drew it up. Now, from that lie, missing the green was always an option. That's on the green, and you never know what could happen. Mm. And he's down there. You got a read? This one will run uphill. Come on. Jitter in. Oh. Uh, looked good for a while, but unable to drop just inches away. And that puddle drop. Well done. And as we check the standings, Lexi Thompson currently holds top spot. The 12th rich, uh, par three, just over 200 yards on the card. You back uphill just a little bit. What really makes this hole difficult, Luke, though, is when the wind is coming directly in the player's face. When that happens, oof, watch out. This hole is a doozy. Hope it gets a good kick to the left. Jesus. Uh, a little off the mark on that approach shot. Yeah, Wynn took that one offline in a hurry. Yep, too much to knew that. Looks like a pretty straightforward Can't field. help myself. This is huge for momentum. Look at the lag again! This for par. Bit too heavy-handed there. That's a bogey, but not a bad putt. You're making one bad mistake with the do it when it's flying through the air, it does it when you're taking your shot. And it's Lexi Thompson on Crap. top of the standings here. Another beautiful so much for keeping me temper, but he's good. Winds you up, no, don't it? This is breathtaking off the tee, isn't it? But don't let the views suck you in, even though it's a wide fairway. You gotta hit it down the road. I don't believe this. What the hell is going on with this swing? I've been hitting it perfect for the past two days, more or less. Well, not perfect, but you know what I mean. And here we are with the third shot. Now, yeah, great rhythm on that swing. What lag again? And what the is going on with this? This part is of nine feet. Oh, God's sake. Oh, so close. <sighs> this next part for double bogey. What a disaster and this is. Unfortunately, heading in the wrong direction on the leaderboard after that hole. And now striding the tee of this par three hole. Right, 161, down eight. Three. Look at... Going with the eight iron here. This wind's not working out right there. That's normal. That's how I would normally work it out for 21. And I don't know. Oh, just missed. No, nope. shouldn't have bothered. Like the look of this one. Yeah, you'll take that. Jesus. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. 
this is a disaster, Mikey. Put Tony there for under. The yeah, I even intentionally slowed that thing down, and it's still just fast. From around 140 yards here. 138 plus on 2, 140. Oh, Jesus. Four left. How the hell has that gone 20 yards further this than the club said? <clears throat> that didn't turn, did it? Went in, but it didn't turn. Bloody hell, what's going on with this? Just a few holes remaining in the round. The 16th hole, one of the last true birdie chances. Okay, the lag is garbage, man. See it high and let it fly there, Luke. Don't go down the left-hand side and find any of those bunkers. I won't. Get down the right-hand side. Okay. And you got to believe you're going to make, at worst, a birdie four. 224 down six is 218 into the wind. 218, 228, 233. Up. I like this play. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and get rewarded for it. Well, this is exciting. A putt for an eagle. Fucking lag, man. Not bad. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. This one just outside seven feet to the hole. Can you hear those tweets? This is what they have left for me here. Wow, got one. Wonderful shot. Some lovely momentum for this player. I'm gonna have to leave this career mode for a while if this lag keeps going on. Might, unless there's something going on, I don't know. Right, 196, 197, 197, 197 200, 210. They put the flag stick over there. You have a really good opportunity to hit it in there close. Lovely rhythm there, Rich. That's gonna work every time. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. Well, oh, what a wonderful shot into the 17th. It sets up another putt inside birdie range. Full of confidence as well with their putter. Gotta like their chances. That's a good putt to make that one. That's back-to-back -back birdies. I like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. And one of America's finest. Bit late Nancy now, Thompson isn't it? Currently leads this tournament. And as we make our way to the finishing hole here, Rich, how is this? 18th at the Renaissance Club. This is an absolute brute, Luke. Just under 500 yards, and you must find the fairway. You Look at that. Suddenly stopped when it hit the fairway, didn't it? <laughs> it was rolling through the light rough and then stopped as it hit the fairway. Surely that should be the other way around. Right, 193, 195, 205. What? Okay, Look at that! What the hell is that? That happened the other few rounds ago, that. What the hell is that game? Come on, lads. I know these bugs and stuff, but Jesus. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Ah, oh, Christ. Yeah, Putting now for that's rubbish, that. And that'll bring an end to today's proceedings. 
What a load of garbage that was. Well, glad to be back in career mode. I think we'll go back to just playing rounds, I think. Oh, look at these fuckers here now. Fuck off. Well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time. Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> okay, I can't. Jesus. Oh, well. So much for not mourning, but you know, you can't help but mourn when you go through that, can you? Yeah, anyway. On to the next one if we ever get there. Yeah, whatever. Whatever, whatever. Right. See you next time. Oh, it's a two rounder. It's the Royal Championship at Lachlan Cross. You know, I played this a few weeks ago in early 1981 society. What a ridiculous course this is. Right. See you there, you filthy animals. <laughs>